Hi, I'm Bob Hunter, tools editor for Wood Magazine. If you want to work with rough lumber, you really need a jointer and a planer to dimension your boards to thickness. If you're working with something like this piece of red oak that's six inches wide, what you have to do is to start with the jointer and joint one face, cleaning it off and getting it flat. Then you go to a planer and run it through with the flat face down and then the, the cutter head will bring it to parallel thickness. One of the problems with this setup though is that most of us in our home shops have a six or an eight inch jointer and a 12 or 13 inch bench top planer. So you can't truly joint and plane stock such as this piece, 10 or 12 inches wide. You can't do that on these machines without ripping it in half first, then jointing and planing them individually and gluing them back together to get a wider panel. One alternative to that is to buy a jointer planer combination machine. Now let me show you how these machines work. I've got the 8 inch machine set up in jointer mode. The dust hood is down, mounted down below with a 4 inch port on it and these machines also come with an adapter so that you can go to a 2.5 inch shop vacuum hose. Now to, to use this as a jointer, just run your board across like you would normally until you've got one face completely flat. Then at that point you would have to transition the machine into planer mode. You would have to remove the dust hood, bring it up to the top pull the guard back out of the way and mount it over the cutter head. I've got the 10 inch machine set up already in planer mode with the dust hood is covering the cutter head, the guard is pulled back out of the way. Now let's run the board through the planer. You go over here on the other side and feed it through just like you would a normal planer after you've set the height and just plane it as many passes as you need until you've got parallel thickness. Bring the table up every time you do. As you can see, it's a little difficult to feed it into the planer bed because the jointer beds are in the way. Another option would be to go to a larger 12-inch jointer planer, such as these models over here. With these machines, you get the ability to joint and plane 12-inch wide stock. But as you can probably guess, they cost a lot more money than these bench top models, which sell for $300 to $500. These start at $1,800 and go up into the three dollars or $4,000 range. Let me show you how the transition works when going from jointer to planer mode. To start out with on this jet, it has a single jointer table and the fence, an aluminum fence that stays put so you don't have to remove it. All you have to do is release the table lock, lift the table, it locks into position. Now your dust hood, you're going to have to rotate around and you bring your dust hose up and over or remove it from there, come over till it locks into place. Now that covers the cutter head so you're safe when you're in the planing mode. Now you have to raise the planer table up to your height that you want. It has to be down low in order to rotate the dust hood, but now you've got to bring it up to whatever height you're wanting. Follow your scale and you're ready to run your planer just like you would normally. Now with Grizzly's model, it's a little different uh, setup and to make the change. With this one, it has a split jointer table. So the first thing you have to do is remove the fence. There's a couple of star knobs back here that you have to move. The table just slides out and lay it off to the side on your bench. You won't need anything yet for the, for the planing operation. Okay, again, loosen the table locks. And then just lift the bed up. It locks into place so it won't fall down on you. Raise the other one up. Make sure you hold the cutter head guard up out of the way. Now with this one, you've got separate dust hoods. The jointer dust hood is over here under the infeed table. So your dust hose would be hooked here when you're in joining mode. So for planer mode, you need to rotate the cutter head guard. Again, over the cutter head, locks in place. Then you would take your dust hose off, mount it onto this hood, and you're ready to go for planer. Come over and raise your table up to the correct height you're wanting, and then feed your stock through. 